It's the Raw after SummerSlam. After suffering a loss against Logan Paul, Ricochet has something to say, but he is stopped by his co-worker, someone he used to team up with. Man, you couldn't beat a guy who have only had with just five matches? What's wrong with you, man? We thought we could count on you, dog. By Cedric's words, Ricochet could feel that his co-workers are treating him differently. He heads to the ring and says, Losing against Logan Paul was a tough pill to swallow, but what's tougher is seeing you guys rooting for him. Logan and I have so much similarities. He does the things that I've already done it in the past, but still, I don't get that respect from you or anybody else in the locker room for that matter. Q Matt Riddle to join Ricochet in the ring. He says, Bro, we all respect you in the locker room. The WWE Universe also respects you, bro. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Upon hearing that, something snaps in Ricochet and he lays out Riddle. Ricochet is battering down Riddle and WWE Universe is in complete disbelief. What the hell has gotten into him? Week after that, an interviewer questions Ricochet about what happened last week. Ricochet, we've all seen what you did to Matt Riddle last week. Is it because you are frustrated by the fact that Logan Paul is receiving more attention and respect? What kind of stupid question is that, huh? I'm not frustrated, I'm just disappointed with people. I have been doing this for years and Logan comes in, wrestles a match or two here and there and suddenly people are buying it? That's my problem. Everything it is that I do, I used to do it for people but now I'll do it for myself. Wow, Ricochet is feeling resentment towards his own fans and the WWE Universe. But look out, Riddle jumps Ricochet and he is hammering him down. Riddle knocks Ricochet down and his anger is visible on his face. Bro, this isn't done. This isn't my revenge. I'll do that at payback. It looks like Riddle has laid out a challenge and Ricochet has the chance to bounce back and gain some momentum again. It is time for payback. Riddle is fighting on behalf of people as he thinks Ricochet is disrespecting his peers and the WWE Universe as well. But Ricochet is serious about this change. As you can see, his attitude has changed in a major way. When the bell rings, Riddle just blasts Ricochet with strikes and combinations. But it doesn't take much for Riddle to make a mistake and Ricochet capitalizes on that. He isn't showing any remorse towards Riddle and the crowd isn't happy with Ricochet. To which he says, You see this Matthew? People doesn't like me. Not because I'm beating your ass. It's because I'm not pleasing them. This is what I should have done from the beginning. Ricochet picks Riddle up on his shoulder and finishes him off with a detonation kick. What we are seeing right now is the most dangerous Ricochet has ever been. On the next draw, Ricochet seems more confident but he is not dressed for a fight. What? You think I'm going to wrestle just two days after I had one of the most satisfying experience when I beat up Matt Riddle? No. I took out one of your favorites and it made my day thousand times better. So now, I will do that again and again until you all run out of the so-called good guys and that's when you will realize that you missed out on rooting for the greatest entertainer of all time, the one and only Ricochet. Oh, and don't forget to tune in this Friday. Trust me, you will love what I'll do. Three days after Ricochet's warning, security is tight for him as he is not a SmackDown superstar. In the main event, Austin Theory is defending his United States Championship against LA Knight and in comes Ricochet through the crowd. Theory distracts the referee and Ricochet slams LA Knight down with Knight's own move and sends him back inside. Theory retains his title and Ricochet couldn't be happier, but he is not satisfied yet. Living without causing misery is something that Ricochet doesn't do nowadays. After two devastating detonation kicks, Ricochet applies the Koji clutch and LA Knight passes out. Ricochet has just made a huge statement by taking out the biggest fan favorite superstar. On the next draw, Ricochet gets confronted by another guy he used to team up with. What's wrong with you? I think it's time to hand you a reality check. You are not disappointed with people, you are disappointed with yourself because Logan Paul got himself over in lesser amount of time than you did. That pisses Ricochet off and he goes off on his former partner. He picks a fight with a guy thrice his size just because he told him that he's jealous. Ricochet goes after his leg and damages it in a big way. This might be serious for Braun Strowman as he is clutching his leg but it is a typical day in the life of Ricochet. Another day, another fan favorite down and out. But little did Ricochet know, his life's about to turn upside down as later that night the American Nightmare calls him out. Ricochet, 
you think that by taking out guys who are loved by the WWE universe will somehow make people respect you and admire you then let me tell you my friend you are wrong with that Rico say has heard enough people are pissing him off tonight so he stares Cody dead in his eyes Cody you know it's funny how by taking out the most loved superstars you become the most hated man in all of WWE but truth be told I kind of like it. I hope you learned something from my actions earlier tonight because right now it might not be safe for you to stand in this ring. Ricochet throws his right hand but Cody was ready and he goes for Cody Cutter but Ricochet cowardly makes his way out of the ring and that makes Cody mad. You want to get over Ricochet? Show up at Fastlane and your wish will be granted. Cody Rhodes has laid out the challenge to Ricochet. Wait a minute. Ricochet, you have been out of control as of late. You broke several rules when you invaded SmackDown and I was finding a way to punish you but I guess you've already dug yourself a hole so let me make it official. You versus Cody is on for Fastlane. Wow, Adam Pearce has not just sanctioned a match, he sanctioned a war. Live from Indianapolis, we are in for a fight. Cody Rhodes is looking to beat the arrogance out of Ricochet but it's not going to be so easy considering the fact that Ricochet can go to any lens to get what he wants and what he wants right now is a victory over the American Nightmare. And Ricochet is close to achieving that but just when he thinks that he's got this match in his pocket, his worst nightmare becomes a reality because what goes around comes around in the form of the megastar. And that's enough of a distraction for Cody to gain a monumental victory or perhaps one of the greatest villain of modern era. But now, it looks like LA Knight also wants a piece of Ricochet. Let me talk to you Ricky boy. You see, I'm not a coward like you. Nana, no, no, I don't hide behind what I truly am. I am a star and a star fights a big fight. So I will see you at Survivor Series where I show you whose game it is with everybody saying. A challenge has been laid out by LA Knight where he and Ricochet face off in a brand warfare singles match. We are in Chicago for Survivor Series and it is time to settle the score. Knight is representing Smackdown and Ricochet, whether he likes it or not, is still representing the red brand. Knight and Ricochet's hatred towards one another is on full display here as each man is striking harder than each other. They are both laying it all on the line. Out of nowhere, Ricochet grabs the tights but that is not enough. Ricochet tries every bad trick out of the book but LA Knight has the answer to every one of those tricks until Ricochet with the brass knuckles strikes LA Knight down. Referee doesn't have a clue of what just happened. Ricochet pulls out something that changed his perspective a few months ago. Ricochet did what Logan Paul did to him at SummerSlam and now with a detonation kick, he fully admires what he's become and during that process, it looks like he's earned the respect of one particular individual. <laughs>